Hello and welcome to my channel. This is your host Akash Kapoor bringing you another video. Well in this video I'm going to take you around Bangalore, the must see places of Bangalore. So in that series uh, first we are going to go to Lal Bagh Botanical Garden. Let's go and explore this place. We are now entering Lal Bagh Botanical Garden. Lal Bagh is one of Bangalore's major attractions, a sprawling garden situated in a 240 acres piece of land in the heart of the city. This garden is a home of to a variety of flora and fauna. In addition to flora and fauna, it also has a lake, a beautiful glass house modeled around the Crystal Palace in London, a watchtower on top of one of the oldest existing rock in the world. This park has a history attached to it. During the reign of Hyder Ali in 1760, the construction of this garden started but was later completed by his son Tipu Sultan. The garden gained more importance when Tipu Sultan added the concept of horticulture in the garden. Many different species of plants were imported from different countries making this garden the apple of everyone's eyes. Many well, Lal Bagh uh, Botanical Garden is pretty big. One can cover it on foot but it's going to take like uh, more than half day. With this battery car one can cover it in like 40 minutes and it costs like 100 rupees per person. What you see at the top is not a temple. It's a tower built on top of a 3000 million years old rock built by Kampe Gowda, the founder of Bengaluru. Now the important questions. How to reach Lal Bagh? What are the visiting hours? Well, Lal Bagh is located 7 kilometers south of the city center and 38 kilometers from Bangalore airport. Lal Bagh can be accessed using the Bangalore metro, metro rail network from different parts of the city. Buses, autos or taxis are readily available to reach Lal Bagh. Lal Bagh has four different entrances, one in each direction making it easy for visitors to enter and exit as per their convenience. West Gate is very close to Lal Bagh metro station. Public toilets are available near the glass house. Parking is available at the double road entrance. This structure is glass house, inspired by Crystal Palace in London's Hyde Park. It was built in 1989 and renovated in 2004 and remains the primary attraction for visitors to Lal Bagh. On 26 January and 15th August, a flower show is conducted in the glass house. Well now about the visiting hours. Lal Bagh Botanical Garden is open daily from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. Entry is free during early morning and late evening that is 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. in the morning and 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. in the evening. A fee of Rs. 20 applies during the daytime for visitors above 12 years. Other attractions in the garden are Mango Festival which is conducted every year in June. Every Saturday and Sunday between 6.30 a.m. and 8.30 a.m. a band show is organized which is free for everyone. Besides that, a bonsai garden and there are several other interesting spots to explore inside Lal Bagh Botanical Garden. Bon
This is Lal Bagh Lake. It is in the southern part of the garden. It has a walking trail, a bridge, and a mini waterfall. This is a flower clock by HMT. It was under maintenance when we went to the park. It should be up and running pretty soon. There are stalls that sell natural fruit juices that contain no chemicals or preservatives. There is also a dedicated stall for sweets and savouries of Karnataka. During the annual flower shows, these stalls become part of the horticulture exhibition. There is a nursery inside the garden that sells products related to horticulture. The seed stall is the most popular one from where you can buy seeds, flowers, plants and even equipments used in gardening. Another place to see in Bangalore is Jawaharlal Nehru Planetarium. It is one of the five planetariums in India and was established in the year 1989. It is ideal for kids and science enthusiasts. The timings are from 10 am to 5.30 pm every day except on Mondays and second Tuesdays. Entry fee is rupees 50 for adult and rupees 30 for children. Various shows are conducted in dome-shaped auditorium, exploring the universe, dawn of the space age, natural selection, and know your stars. Well, that concludes the first part of places to visit in Bangalore. I'll catch you in the next episode with more places to visit. Please do subscribe and share so that you get to know when the new video is published. I'll catch you in the next uh, episode. Till then, take care.